Hi class, this is Audrey again. I thought I would give you a quick little uh, demo and help on how to install and at least uh, find and run Responders Lockdown Browser if you guys are having some trouble. So uh, first of all, where to find it, if you go on the A to Z index and click on R and go to Information and Technology Services, you will be able to find it under Software Downloads right here under the Quick Links. So um, it is here listed, Respondus Lockdown Browser. So you click on it, and yes, it will tell you that the link is expired. Just click there. And so here is the link to uh, the download area. And so if you need to download it, I'll say download. Of course, I've downloaded it, so now it says install. So um, that's where you get the Lockdown Browser. Now, once you have downloaded it and you've opened it in your download thing, so like here for us, so show all downloads um, or wherever you access your downloads and you uh, install it, double click on it, install it, and it is um, showing up as an icon on your desktop, this is what the icon will look like right here. So, uh, and then all you do is um, double click just open this and so this actually takes you to Blackboard Learn at a state your class and then you will put in your log on like you normally do when you open it on the regular internet whether you use Internet Explorer or whether you use Firefox or whether you use Google Chrome so you it's just it's a browser the lockdown browser is a browser like Google Chrome is a browser and like Firefox is a browser. So instead of opening Firefox or your little Internet Explorer icon, you're going to open Lockdown Browser. So it opens up. And so um, I'm going to take you all here to Blackboard Learn and show you. I added a link. And here I'm on my side of things, so you'll never get to see this. But if you will look under your course tools, I added a link right here to the Respondus Monitor check. And you can actually check to make sure that everything is working on the Respondus Monitor end with a webcam. And so I did a quick little run through. It's just a one true false question has zero point value. So you can do it as many times as you want to and it will run you through everything that has you have to do. So on mine, here's my little student photo it took. It will use your webcam to take a photo and then it asks you to show your ID. I just put my faculty ID. I couldn't get it really to zoom in, to, to be nice and sharp, but anyway, I did that. And then here's my little environment video and I'm right there just showing my desk. You obviously can see I have a textbook and I have notes and I have all kinds of stuff on my desk, but that's the idea of the environment scan. Um, and then if the, my attempt was there, it would be there. Of course, it only took me just a few seconds to answer the question, so it really wasn't long enough to, to make a video itself. But um, you have to go through all this in order for it to, to work. It does a little test video and everything. So um, I can see if it will let me that's the image not available. Pull it up again. It was saying it was a processing. Oh, there you go. It is available. So that was me playing with it. So setting the webcam right. You see my goofiness trying to concentrate here. Uh, that was a little test video. Reading instructions. And then did the photo, adjust the camera again. adjusted it again. I'm being silly there, I guess, and try to get it centered. And so, there, that's my little test video. And uh, believe it or not, the uh, webcam knew that I had moved it and stuff. It was kind of neat. So, there you go. That was me taking a test and well I was just really answering one question and playing around with it but so that's what I see on my end and then you guys can can like I said do this as many times as you need to to get it going for sure you do not need the webcam for the quizzes it's only going to be for the t first test so as you get into the quizzes it's not going to ask you to do all the webcam stuff but do run through this monitor check at least once um, before your first test to make sure everything's set up right don't wait till the last minute make sure you have good internet connection and so on.